YouTube, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy. We out here at a place called GAF. I think somebody commented and told me that I will be picking up from here. Guess you knew a little something. Um, what's out here in Baltimore, Maryland? Uh, it, it's a shingles yard, but I know they have roll roofing. So I don't know exactly which one I'm picking up just yet. I'm hoping it's shingles because if you get that roll roofing, you got a tarp it. It's hot. My truck says 98 degrees. My watch says it's a high of 93. So it's hot. So I ain't really trying to deal with that if I ain't got to. I finally got out of that place. She sent me a load two hours later. Sat there for two hours. Finally got a load. Taking this load from Baltimore to Norfolk, Virginia, delivers tomorrow. So, I, honestly, if she would have sent this load a lot earlier, I could have picked this up and delivered it today. Because they don't close till 3.30. But right now, my GPS said I'll get there at 4.30. Because once she sent me the load, I was basically stuck. I had to wait an hour to leave that last place because they have trucks that pulled in and I, I wasn't able to leave out. So, I had to literally sit there for a whole hour to be able to get out. So, wasn't nothing I could do, for real, for real. But at this place, when you come here, you pull up, get in line. They have over there on the building, they have QR codes and a phone number. You can text that or you can scan the QR code and that's how you'll check in. They'll ask you your company name, your your name, first name, last name, ask you your trailer number. They will ask you your empty weight and they will ask you where is the load going. And then they'll text you all that. And then you just sit here in line and they will tell you to go on the scale. You pull on the scale, uh, I guess they get the weight. And then um, I guess they either direct you to get loaded over here because all the loads are right there, back there. That's where the people are strapping up and stuff. So I guess you go through the yard and get loaded over here and then secure it back there. So uh, I'm just waiting on a text. I am checked in already. So I'm just waiting on a text right now. And then hopefully it's quick. Get up out of here. I'm trying to beat this traffic, man. I'm really trying to beat this traffic. So um, it says 4.30, but I'll already be over there. So we're going to see. I think I'm going to go to the place. PNS driver right there. I think I'm going to go to the place and um, just do it like that and park in front of it. I'm probably going to call, but from the looking at Google Maps, it like you park out front and uh, you should be fine. But I'm going to call and ask to be on the safe side because I looked at the reviews. Only one person left for review and it wasn't about the parking. So uh, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch up with y'all. Y'all want some shingles, man. They got them for days out here in Baltimore. This whole freaking yard is full with them. So, I really hope <laughs> that's what your boy picking up. I ain't trying to pick up nothing else. Throw some straps and we gone. So, we gonna see what happens, y'all. Um, after you go across the scale, you go in the building, they'll give you a paper with a number on it, like this. Uh, you just put it in your window. Fort Lift driver will come get you. They'll load you up and then um, they'll tell you where to exit out at. So, hopefully, not too long. It's one, two, three, four trucks that was already here. So I don't know what order they go in and or what, but um, hopefully not too long. So, oh, see, that's that roller roofer right there, ain't it? Yeah, that's that roller roofer. That right there. That has to be turned. Hopefully that's not for me. <laughs> Let's see if I'm bringing it out, man. Hopefully that is not for me. We gonna see. I'm gonna get out with y'all. You too. What's up, y'all? Check it back in. So we are done. Finally strapped down. Um, been here for about to be three hours. Uh, it didn't take too long. I think I was out by like 1:30, so like an hour and a half. I had to wait a little bit, but uh, nothing crazy. I got here a little after 12. I don't remember the exact time to be honest. But it's currently about to be three o'clock, so I had to do some finessing with this load. So I remember watching. Uh, with Young, I seen one of his videos where he's picking up shingles, and they had the shingles long way. Some, some of them was long ways, and the other ones was the other way. I'm glad I seen that video because that's exactly what happened with me. So I had to get up there and turn uh, some of them. I don't know if you can see it. It's up there at the top. But this whole side I had to turn the whole around. So of course, it took me a lot longer. And then, so I got two straps. Strap, 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 strap. One, 
two right there. And then I got my smoke tarp over the front because that's not supposed to get wet. So that's why I, I ain't do nothing too crazy because uh, I'm going straight to the place I called and uh, they said that you can overnight park in the road. So I'm going to be there anyway. Uh, so that's what it is. This load is 40. 45 nine so basically 46,000 pounds so we're gonna get to it I have 246 miles to go so I ain't gotta get no fuel cuz she I think I got three four so yeah I ain't gotta get no fuel so we going straight there Alright y'all, we have made it out here to uh, Norfolk, Virginia. That's a place called Mid-Atlantic Roofing. So, I got here last night. Where I am parked right now is where I parked last night. Like I told y'all, I called. They told me it was fine, so you can't overnight park here. You park on this side of the road or on the other side of the road. They do have more parking there, but they have a lot more trucks over there. So, I was the only one over here. Got here last night. I thought I was going to make me some meal prep. I had ground turkey. It was still frozen. So, we was wasn't able to make that so I had to call uh, Uber Eats order me some Jamaican food hey thank God for Uber Eats so other than that um, they pulled me in they had two of their trucks that had to leave out first and then they pulled me in they give me a paperwork um, they back you you pull in to the left and then you back up and they unload you literally right here behind me and uh, it's two dudes well I don't know if that's always gonna be the case but it was two dudes that unloaded me got me out in it out pretty quick probably like 20 probably like 20 minutes and um, so last night I put my y'all know I had those rolls they had to be tarp so I had a small tarp on it so I took my four foot tarp covered it last night just laid it over it because it did rain last night and I did not want it to get wet and they deny anything we, we ain't got time for that so we're gonna see what happens next as of right now it is 754 they do open at 7 and they are open from 7 to 4 so if you ever have to deliver here mid-atlantic out here in norfolk so easy load but i ain't got a load so uh, hopefully my manager send me something soon and hopefully i can get from up here your boy been up here too long and they got tolls and i got a message last night talking about flood warnings for the next three days in norfolk which is where i'm at right now so i'm like bro <laughs> I ain't never been in this area with it raining a lot and I ain't trying to find out either. So I'm not gonna end the video here. I'm gonna just bring y'all along. Since this this load was quick, I only recorded what two clips, so yeah, this <laughs> is only like a couple minutes. So I'm gonna bring y'all along on the next load. We'll see what we get into. So come on y'all. So as y'all see, your boy is still sitting. It is <laughs> 12 o'clock. I've been off duty for 16 hours. I still do not have a load. So, in the meantime, in between time, I just started my meal prep. So, uh, this is basically what I do. I got ground turkey in here right now. I literally just started, which y'all see, it is currently cooking. Uh, this is what I, this is what I cook it in, which is just a, a Esther pot. And then, that's the seasons I use right there there you go there you go i season the two season i use i mean you can use whatever you want it's all up to you um but that's me personally and then that's my mixed vegetables that's two different bags that's my jasmine rice this is a family size one but i have another one because this is not because i have one two three i have five right here i don't know how much this is three pounds so i don't know how many this gonna make i think i normally get two pounds i believe but hey nonetheless i'm gonna have more than enough i do have more containers um and make sure if y'all meal prepping man get y'all some glass man don't get plastic man they hold bacteria and all that stuff get y'all some glass these are plastic but um the lids but of course that's not really touching the food unless you stack your plates high i personally do not so i don't really have that problem um that's why i meal portion i mean meal prep so i can portion it out um i don't do large portions because that's how you get full also 
these right here is clutch. Get y'all some of these, man. So, but that's how I do my meal prep. Like I said, I'm just sitting here waiting. I ain't got nothing to do. So I just figured I'd show y'all. Somebody told me to show y'all me meal prep. I'm not gonna sit here and record me meal prepping for me. All I'm doing is cooking the meat. I'm gonna portion it out. I'm gonna put the rice in the microwave, put the vegetable in the microwave, portion that out, and then that's it. But that's what I use, ground turkey, and then that. But if I get a load, y'all, um, then I'll update y'all. As of right now, I was only told that, um, what did she tell me last? Thing. She told me that she was looking for me a load that was at eight. I then told her that I don't mind um, deadheading to, where is it? Uh, I told her I don't mind deadheading to, well, actually, I'm, I'm just reading y'all the message real quick. I'll turn y'all around. Uh, oh, it's not gonna show on there. I sent it through my phone. Uh, I told her right here. So at at eight, she said the only option she got it was eight twenty-three. She said the only option she got were going north. Obviously, y'all know I'm not going north. And I said at 842, I said, I see clearly not to come up here anymore. I said, how about I just take the L and head south and y'all can find me something out of the Carolinas or Georgia. There's no point in sitting in the dead area. Because clearly that's what this is. I ain't getting no load. Ain't no point in sitting here. I'm not going north either. We're not doing that. She said, I'm trying to find you at, at 9 o'clock. She said, I'm trying to find you something coming out of North Carolina. It's 1222. That was at 906. So been three hours since she said that and y'all already know with flatbed everything closes a lot earlier so i assume i ain't finna get no load so if i do not get a load today i will just take the l and i'm just gonna head south myself because i have no interest in sitting here if if i can't get a load today i'm not sitting here i haven't started my clock so i got full 10 hours or a full 11 hour drive so we just gonna make it as far south as we can which i know i can make it back to florida and i still need to get my truck i need to get that harness fixed anyway so if anything i'll just drive back to florida take the rest of the week off and go get this uh harness fixed um because as i told y'all the light did come back on i did find a way around that if you want you can uh put a uh what is it um paper clip both ends and it'll take that it'll take the light off but i did do it but i took it out um so i'm just gonna get the harness done only thing that comes up is the check into light it's been like that since yesterday so but i know why it's there so it don't really, it doesn't really bother me but other than that y'all i'm gonna catch up with y'all if something happens so stay tuned y'all <laughs> Alright y'all, checking in. We out here in Mabane, North Carolina. Filling up. Pump rice, 418. We get it for we get it for three. No, 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 no. We get it for 289. So I get a dollar twenty-nine off, I believe, something like that. So yeah, right now I'm gonna fill it up. Um, I don't know if I updated y'all. I am headed, well I'm in North Carolina now. Um, I don't have a load as of yet. They told me to just come to North Carolina, so we're gonna hold for a load. They told me to come to Thomasville. They're trying to give me a load out of this area tomorrow, but it, it hasn't confirmed as of yet. Well, not confirmed, but they trying to get a PO number. So hopefully they get that, but if not, they said they'll give me a sign out of North Carolina. So hopefully it all works out, but been pumped out. So, there we go. I just topped it off. I had half a tank, so we're gonna go ahead and get. I think I got. Let's see. Uh, I have 51 miles left to go, so uh, I think there's a rest area down the road, but there ain't no parking spots here. Uh, so I'm gonna go try to see if I can get a spot in that rest area. So I'll tap in with y'all tomorrow. 